welcome. This is um, basically our antelope archery trip for me and my son here. Um, we figured why not. I'd only kind of figured on rifle hunting for antelope, but I was like, well, it's archery season, let's go. <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, you should stick with us right now because we're setting up camp and literally we spotted an antelope over here that just crossed over a few hundred yards from us. He's really close. It's a buck. I can't tell how big he is. We're going after it, so stay tuned. Okay, so as I mentioned, we gotta get set up. Check this out. Check that out. Ooh, we got the four-seater general brand new. We're gonna be riding that around this weekend. We're putting just our tent up on the trailer right here. We got a mattress in there. Malin's blowing up another little mattress. We're getting dressed and ready here because as I mentioned, an antelope literally just came off um, from private over here to the forest service. We were watching him and he just kept coming. So he's over here, it's a buck. Don't know how big he is. We're gonna get set up, it's like 7.20. We got just probably over an hour of hunting light. And uh, we'll go check it out, why not? That's what we're here to do, right May? He wants to go get that buck right now. He's already gotten his coat on. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. We're almost ready. Let's go check this out, man. This is it, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, here we go. some traffic going by and he just stayed down there so we're gonna walk off of here and head back to camp and get set up well, there we go we got a beautiful sunrise this morning we're gonna get in the side by side put down the road check it out come back up get up on top of this hill up in this aspen there's some nice open sagebrush prairies and um see what we find out this morning right Malin? Mm -hmm. let's get a little allergy medicine allergy has been pretty bad i can see the winds today too a lot of that smoke is cleared out oh you gotta feel it down the corners don't you so, i'll fix it and so uh yeah we're gonna get out of here we're ready I gotta figure out how to, uh, how I'm gonna store my bow and my general, if I'm gonna put it in the case or not, or hold in the back seat. I haven't done this yet with our new side by side. So, do a little glass in here, see if I can't pick up any antelope around us, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get after it. This is officially day one of our antelope hunting for us. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how much antelope are in this area right here. It's kinda new. It's kinda new. So we were just coming on the road to come here to the hill where I wanted to get into. And below the aspen down there in the flats, there was a nice buck with some does coming across the fence line. So we're going to sneak to this aspen, get down here on the edge. And they seem like they were kind of angling this way. If they come over or not, who knows. But this is our game plan for this morning. So I'm going to go down through here and get to the edge, which is only about 100, 200 yards. Seen those antelope yet? Don't know where they're at. I think our 
game plan was not as good. But the bastards are too noisy. It's so crunchy. It's like walk on. So, we decided we're just going to skirt the edge of this, watching the sagebrush, and just stay on the edge. It's a little bit quieter down here. Not as much debris up in there. It's so dry. Sticks are just snapping like crazy. The leaves and all that velvet air leaf stuff, it's snapping. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> okay, we found them. We got kind of lucky. They were still out here in the sagebrush. They're like seven. Busted us. So we found them feeding on this edge. And any other time, it would have been great because I could have made that 15 yards right there. I would have had like a 50 yard shot. We can't walk in this stuff, it's too noisy. I thought about slipping my boots off, but going with my socks, but still. You know, there's eight of them or so. 16 eyes looking for us. They've taken off. The ways now we ain't gonna get back on them again so bummer they were right here we were sitting right there we thought we would sit we thought we heard them but there's a lot of cattle here right now there's a few 20 or so cows and then we saw a cow so we thought it was just the cow so we walked off through the timber come back around to here and i spotted them over the edge but they're gone bummer bud I was really close. For our first time ever archery hunting to get within 85 yards right there. That's really close. Darn it. All right. Well, I think we'll head back up to uh, side by side. Oh, they're crossing the fence now. I think we'll head back up to the side by side and go look around. Driving practice in this weekend. Drive the general. Hey, you look forward. Don't look over here. You look that way. Keeping in my 20 and under here. Feels really slow, but it's all right. So we're gonna go check our trail cameras now. Do a quick little hike. Pull those cards and a few cameras out, and uh, pack a few little tripod chairs in. I think. All right. So we. Hiked up here to get our trail cameras, and the first camera we came to, first thing I saw was it's not on the tree. And it's like, you gotta be kidding me, somebody stole it? That was my first thought. Well, then we saw it laying on the ground, and the clip is still together, but you can see that the cord came out the other side of that clip. And this was a small um, cord or whatever string, drawstring here, um, but it fit the tree fine. And it was laying there on the ground and the camera was laying on the ground. I tried turning the camera on and it didn't come on. And then once I was messing around with that, one of the batteries started getting really hot. And you could see that that battery right there started getting really hot and it was peeling apart like that. And it's still really warm to the touch. It, I mean, once it fell off, it was on the ground. It probably would have been laying in the sun for um, or more often could be part of it, but I don't know, kind of weird. <sighs> so we're getting a little dinner here. We got a nice little spot on the road and a little shady. Mainly trying to figure out how to use the pot grabber to get our pot. We're boiling some water for some, yeah, mountain house dinners tonight. How do you use it, Mainly? Oh. You grab it like that. Oh, you figured out. Oh, he had six different methods. So we're sitting here, gonna have dinner. And up on the hill, right up there, there is about 20 antelope right there. So, haven't picked out a buck out of it yet, though. 
Um, some of them had their head down. So we're going to watch them for a little bit. That's what we came over here and have dinner over on this side of the mountain. We're going to watch them and see um, if there's a buck up in there. Maybe we'll cross this creek. And I think we could actually get up that hill pretty well before any animals would see us where they're at right now. But we'll see. It's almost five o'clock. We got three and a half hours of daylight. We're going to get dinner first. So, What are you eating, Aylin? Lasagna with meat sauce. Ooh, lasagna and meat sauce. Yummy. Well, we finished our mountain house dinner. Actually, Malin's still working on his. What's cool about this, I've been using this little peak one from Coleman to cook this on these little butane cookers for a long time. So that was pretty yummy though. It's been a while since I've had one of those. So we've been watching those antelope and they have moved off. And I'll show you here. So they were on this little meadow point right here and that's kind of that's kind of a little hump right there and i thought we would kind of be able to kind of follow up this little green line and those bushes and then come right up on them there well so then they've gone from here and they've walked across past this tree here and they're over sitting right in there some of them actually walked off the edge and went off the other side so there's nine does in the buck. They're laying and they just bedded down. They fed all the way across there. They bedded down. It's now six o'clock. So we have two and a half hours. And so since they've bedded, I'm not really inclined to be hiking up there towards them now. There's no cover. If we come in from any direction, they'll see us. So we're gonna sit here and just watch them for a little bit and just um, see if they get up again and where they might go to. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, so those antelope, um, they haven't moved. They bedded down. They've been there. It's almost 7. We're going to go around the mountain. We're going to check on some things, um, see if there's any other antelope there crossing over by our camp. And we'll take a peek around there. So hopefully that pans out. Okay, so after we ditch that other little single antelope and we're coming up around the road and a bunch of cows and stuff here, and the mainland says, Dad, there's a buck. He's on this hillside right here. So we just kind of pulled over park. We're not getting out. He was going that direction. Then he turned and he's going this way. So I'm trying to figure out what can we do for a game plan here. Um, what's he going to do? We get up on the edge of this aspen. We might just be able to catch him coming by or something. And now he's kind of going. He's moving this direction here. If we get up here this way a little ways. Then perhaps we could just be positioned and he'd just come walking by. So um, we don't know. Stay tuned for a few minutes.
we were at about 50 yards, and then I finally spotted him, and he had moved over like 40 more yards that way. We had like 10 minutes of shooting light, legal light. So I thought, why not just make a play and just move in after him? And uh, finally he caught us. He was standing right there. It was, I couldn't get a good range on him. It was hitting like 60 to 80, 60 to 80. I don't know what it was. And finally at one point it looked like it did a good solid 70 and changed my dial. But uh, I don't know. That would have been hard to see that spot with this much light left. But we had some fun. That was fun, wasn't it, May? Yeah. Good time. Remember that little buck you came from. All right. Well, what do you know? Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let's get out of here and head for camp.